Hello and welcome to this new tutorial series about the Chimera FusionSync plugin for Osirix Pro. We built FusionSync in order to assist in the diagnosis of medical images from multiple modalities and follow up longitudinal studies. And in this video series we will demonstrate the main operating functions of the software along with different use cases. Before I give you a quick start guide to the basic workflow in this first video, let me quickly demonstrate what happens in the standard Osirix Pro when dealing with multiple series. Here I load two MRI brain series of the same patient acquired at different times, one from 2010 and the other one from 2013. Let's pick the actual flares for example. You can load the series into the standard 2D viewer and then you have to manually adapt basically the, some of the most of the few settings to roughly line up the images and get consistent coordinates. Here I'm scrolling to a specific view slice and then click the sync button and then I can for instance scroll along with both series but I have to adapt the rotation and if I move to a specific part and zoom in I also have to do that manually or else my rotation is lost and so on. This is <clears throat> limited to the slice orientation and is, is, it's a quite tedious and time consuming process. So let me just reset those. And yeah, well, although this might work for some cases, in many others the orientation of the slices may differ from each other. For example, if the patient rotates out of the slice between the acquisitions, and then it gets even more complicated when we try to add uh, other series for viewing as well. And now this is where a processing technique called image registration is required, which basically establishes correspondences between image coordinates. We have integrated our registration engine into the plugin FusionSync and provide various advanced image registration methods such as a fast and fully automatic rigid registration available within Osirix Pro for the first time. Now let me show you how you can view the same series with FusionSync. First we make a selection of the images by holding the command key and clicking on the series. Then we press the FusionSync button in the database browser toolbar. The datasets will be loaded into MPR views and FusionSync tries to establish a spatial correspondence between the images. What you'll notice right away is that the images are already aligned properly, which is due to our automatic registration that was performed upon the starting of FusionSync. In addition, the views are arranged according to time points and modalities and are placed in chronological order from left to right on the screen. The datasets themselves can be identified by the window titles, the legends in the viewers and by the image information that is shown when pressing the control key on the keyboard. You can then freely navigate within the viewers and each interaction is propagated to the linked data in the other windows accordingly. And this is done in 3D as you can see. This will incorporate the spatial position and orientation, but also the viewing settings like the window level width, the color lookup table, the rendering properties, and as I said, the orientation like zoom, spatial position, movement, and so on. During the following videos of this series, I will explain the specific functions in more detail. For now, I will just show you the difference between the original image position as given by the DICOM coordinates that are used by the 2D viewer and when applying the rigid registration. Let's switch to the DICOM coordinates. You can see this quite easily by applying the overlay visualization, which is accessible via the context menu by clicking the right mouse button in the Fusion Sync menu and enable blend. Now this is how the um, positions originally uh, were, uh, were according to the DICOM coordinates and this is where the automatic registration compensates for the translations and rotations and you get the difference.
But Fusion Sync provides more than that. For example, we can add additional series for viewing. Like, what if we wanted to have the T2 and also a 3D MPR in addition? I can load them into Fusion Sync as well. And I can let Fusion Sync apply all the registration between the images, which is done so. Or we can register different modalities like CT, MR, PET and SPECT, keep the finding bookmarks in synchronization, resample the results to the database and much more. We will show in the next videos which kinds of data we support, the different registration methods and their use cases and the other new tools that assist you in dealing with multiple series and follow-ups. If you are interested, we invite you to follow us along the upcoming tutorials. Thank you very much for viewing and see you next time.